One of Golang's most incredible features is its concurrency. And a map is a data structure that is being used by a lot of people. But the problem is in Golang, a map is not concurrent safe. A map is not safe for reading and writing in different GoRoutines. And we are going to fix this by creating our own safe map implementation. The first thing I want to show you is this test unsafe map. We basically use a classic Golang map. We spin up 10 GoRoutines that will each adjust the state of the map. If we run this test and if we specify the dash dash race flag, Golang will spin up its race detector. If we run this test, we can see that Golang detected a race condition. And that's because a classic Golang map is not thread safe. It's not safe to use in GoRoutines. And we are going to fix this by implementing our own version, which is called a safe map. First thing we're going to do is create a new file. We're going to call this safe map.go. I'm going to say package safe map. We're going to say type, and let me close this thingy. We're going to say type uh, safe map. It's going to be generic, right? So we're going to say um, the key is going to be a comparable like this, and the value is going to be an any type, right? It's going to be a strict, and we're going to hold our data, and that's going to be a map of kv, right? Of course, because it's a safe map, we need a sync. Uh, we need an mu, a mutex, which is going to be a sync read write mutex, right? Because we're going to read and write to our safe map, so it's concurrent thread safe, go routine safe. Uh, let's make a constructor new, and this is going to be uh, kv, and I think we could we need to say compatible like this and any. And that's going to return a pointer to our safe map. And of course, I think we need to say here uh, that it's going to be a K and V like this. We're going to say return me uh, our safe map KV. I'm going to say the data is going to be make me a map of KV. That's it. We don't need to specify sync mutex, that's going to be uh, automatically inf uh, instantiated with the zero value. Go does that automatically for us. All right, let's make, a fun let's make our functions. So we're going to make uh, M, it's going to be a safe map, KV. Let's say insert, we're going to insert the key, which is going to be K, and the value is going to be V, and it's going to re return, I don't think, anything. Right, the first thing we're going to do is uh, lock or mutex for reading. So we're going to say m mutex lock. Uh, then we have an option, but I prefer to do defer, uh, which will automatically be called before the function gets returned. Uh, we're going to say unlock, right? We need to unlock this thing. Then we're going to say m data uh, key is going to be the value, right? That's it. The next function we're going to make is uh, a get function. It's going to be get, and we're going to get the key, of course, and that's going to return us the V, what's going on, and error, right? We're going to say M. In this case, we only need to lock the read for reading. So we're going to say MU, uh, error lock, read lock, and of course, What's going on here? Like this. And then we're going to say defer m mu r unlock. Like this. All right. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if we have the value. So we're going to say m data key. Like this. And in Golang, you can actually say um, value OK to check your map. And the OK value will be a bool. So we could say if OK is false, we can return the value, which will be whatever type we uh, the the zero is the zero value of that type, right? Because we didn't find it, so GoLang will automatically uh, return the zero value of that type. And we are going to say FMT error F. We're going to say key V. What's going on here? Some uh, crazy shenanigans. You're gonna say uh, key percentage v not found. Why percentage v? Because 
Key can be anything. It's co uh, compatible, so it could be a lot of types, and V will make sure it prints out uh, the correct thing. And we're going to say uh, our key. Key not found. Like this, right? And then we're going to say uh, return value. Return or value and null because there is no error, right? That's good. The next um, function we need is basically uh, update, right? So we're going to say update the key with a new value, v, and that's going to return an error. If we don't find this uh, key, we're going to return an error. So we can say basically copy or lock uh, from above here, just copy all the code we already written. We're going to read lock it because we're going to update, we're going to write to the state. We're going to say um, OK. We don't need a value. We're going to say OK. It's going to be the same thing. And data key, right? And we're going to return the same error if we, don't, if we do not find the key. We don't need to return any value. We can just say this key not found. And if we have a key, then we're basically going to say uh, and data key is going to be the new value. All right. And let's return null in this case. All right, let's delete. Make our delete function. So we're going to say delete. That's going to be only the key, right? So we're going to delete this. We're going to, again, uh, lock for reading because we're deleting this. Actually, we are writing to the state, right? Because we're going to delete uh, memory from that map. Uh, again, we're going to say defer mmu uh, unlock like this. First of all, we're going to check again, right? We're going to check again. You could basically do not check it and don't return an error. But I think it's a very good API practice that we let the users know that the key we are trying to delete does not exist, right? That could be a very important uh, business logic in some cases. So we're going to check this, uh, and if we have a value, we're simply going to say delete and data and the key. And then, of course, we return, in this case, nil, because there is no error. And I think we have our insert get update delete. What we also could do is make something like uh, save map kv um, has key. Like this, we say the key is going to be k, and it will return a boolean. And let's lock it for reading because we're going to read. Uh, it's going to be an R lock. And then we say defer. You could also do something like this, right? Instead of the defer, you could say uh, underscore OK is going to be M data key, right? And then we can just say return OK because OK is a bool. But the problem is, uh, and then basically here say M, M, U, um, R unlock, right? That's the same thing. And this is more performant, but it's a little bit unclear for reading, in my opinion. So the common practice is to say defer like this, right? It's up to you. Uh, although the ladder, like this function, uh, this approach is a little bit more performant, all right? This, uh, it is what it is. You can choose what you want to do with it. But we are going to use this defer thingy, right? Give it some space to make it more clean. And I think we have uh, our safe map, right? The next thing we're going to do is uh, write some tests to see if it actually is concurrent safe. So let's test our safe map implementation. We're going to say our map is going to be a new map. And let's say it's going to be, because it's generic, we can choose whatever uh, key and value we want as long as it's compatible. So we're going to say uh, make a map with integers as a key and integers as a value. And that's going to be uh, like this. Then we're going to make um uh, 10 go routines right so we're going to say go funk like this oh. and we need to enclose this y variable so we're going to say y is an integer otherwise we're going to get a compiler error we're going to say uh, m insert we're going to insert the iterator with uh, i don't know maybe iterator times two it doesn't really matter and then we're going to say the value or the error is going to be m get and get me the iterator, right? You're going to say if the error is uh, not nil, like this, rather, 
we're going to say t error r like this and then we're going to compare we're going to say if the value is not the iterator times 2 we're going to say uh, t error f um, we're going to say percent d should be percent d right it's basically the way to format integers and we're going to say uh, y should be equal to y times 2 if that makes sense so let's run this test and we can do this in if you have vs code you can run it like this so it's working right so our test is passing which basically means that our get and insert uh, functions are working but is this concurrent safe let's do this we're going to say go test dot everything in the folder and we are going to say dash dash race and it all works fine we have our own concurrent safe map implementation if you like this video and you like the content i am providing to you please consider subscribing to my channel and i see you in one of my live streams where we are building the most incredible things thanks for watching see ya